Sunday's gospel reading frames our reflection today. Greater love has no man than he lay down his life for his friends. This is, is of course, what Deputy Marshal Tommy Weeks did on Monday, April 29, 2024. This is what we honor today. A deputy who lost his life in service to his community, in fulfillment of his commitment to his brothers and sisters in law enforcement, in living his life to the full, and doing the job he loved. To Kelly and the Weeks family, to the brothers and sisters of the United States Marshals Service, and to the broader law enforcement community, to all of Tommy's friends gathered here today, we salute a hero. A hero in death, but as well and importantly, a hero in life, whose example speaks to a higher purpose in life. Real heroism, the kind Tommy exemplified, requires courage and selflessness. The hero's deed is ennobled not by courage alone, but by the call to duty or by service to others. In this, it gains a larger symbolic value that can inspire. Tommy died bravely. He lived heroically. We are indebted to him. We are inspired by him. We are better for having known him. His life demonstrated that life can be what it should be, that bravery and self-sacrifice occur because there are beliefs and responsibilities which warrant bravery and self-sacrifice. The hero tells us, Tommy tells us, there is indeed purpose in human life. We miss him. We miss that smile, the joy he ra radiated doing his job. He treated all with respect, his colleagues, attorneys both for the prosecution and the defense, the court and its employees, and especially the incarcerated witnesses and defendants he was tasked with bringing to court every day. If you encountered Tommy doing his job, you came away with respect and you came away feeling respected. He could be a handful. During one tense hearing in his early days with our court, there was a scuffle. The court needed to make a record, so I called upon the deputy marshal to testify as to what had just transpired. All we got was Tommy's laconic answer, he acted up, I took care of it. That was it, not much of a record. But in going back to the transcript, I discovered that Tommy had his own frustrations that day. During the hearing, I kept referring to him as Deputy Meeks. Well, we all know that there is nothing meek about Tommy. Unbeknownst to me, multitasking Tommy was able to keep control of the courtroom while simultaneously test texting his frustration to T.J. Haycox, a law clerk. Tommy's text said, referring to me, he keeps calling me Meeks. T.J. responds, sorry. Tommy, it's weeks. But then he texts, it's okay. It was always okay with Tommy Weeks. He would not let something like a judge mispronouncing his name affect his performance or to stand in the way of a friendship that would grow over the next 10 years. G.K. Chesterton once wrote about the death of a family member. For real strength, I don't like the word comfort. For real peace, no human words are much good 
except perhaps some of the unfathomable, unintelligible, unconquerable epigrams of the Bible. One such text was, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his faithful servant. He concluded, For his death awoke in one a passionate sense of the value of his life, so that even his death was a thing of incalculable value and mysterious sweetness. It is awful, tragic, desolating, desperately hard to bear, but still precious. Chesterton knew, as we know about Tommy, that his death was beautiful. The reason that it did not seem beautiful in the moment was that we do not see it now. What we see is his absence. But his death is not his absence, but his presence somewhere else. That presence, in the place where there is no more pain, no more tears, we can only imagine. And in our imagining, we see Tommy smiling. And we see our Lord saying to Mr. Weeks, well done, good and faithful servant. Come, enter into your rest. Tommy often heard a judge saying at the end of a sentencing matter, this matter is concluded. The defendant is remanded to the custody of the marshals. I would like to say here, these remarks are concluded. Tommy's spirit and his memory are remanded to his family and to his brothers and sisters of the United States Marshals Service. May they live forever. Loving son, husband and father, courageous law enforcement officer, good friend, faithful servant, hero, may you rest in peace. Amen.